Hey guys, Eric with Varus Engineering, and today we're installing some carbon vortex generators on our GT350R. This product will fit on your GT350R, the GT350, and we believe the S550 Mustang as well. The carbon vortex generators create a vortex which allows airflow to stay attached to the rear of the car. We found through CFD that the car does exhibit some detached flow, and that does hurt performance on the GT350 in both drag and downforce, specifically the GT350R. So the GT350R has a factory rear wing and the detached flow actually reduces airflow to the bottom of that wing. So by running these, you're actually gonna reduce drag and increase downforce. So it's a two for one. It's a no brainer to us. So that's why we developed this product. Hey guys, Tom with Ferris Engineering. Today we're gonna to be going over how to install the Vortex generators for the Shelby GT350R. All right, first things first, we're gonna go over the tools, pretty simple here. Uh, all we're really doing is playing arts and crafts today. So we're going to need a tape measure to center the template, a pair of scissors. I use a hobby knife for one of the steps. We'll go over that in a minute. A 50-50 mix of isopropyl alcohol, water and isopropyl alcohol a Sharpie, and a clean microfiber rag. So with this kit, you'll receive six carbon fiber vortex generator pieces, six pieces of VHB double-sided tape, a red card showing you or explaining how the VHB tape will be installed correctly, the template in order to line them up on the car correctly, and of course, stickers. So this is what the template will look like initially. And this is what it'll look like when you're done cutting it out. Once your template's cut out, we're gonna need to find the center line of the roof in order to install the template to the roof correctly and therefore make sure all, all of your vortex generators are on straight. That's gonna be fairly straightforward. Luckily, uh, we've got these cool stripes here that really give us a nice indication of where center is probably going to be. But ultimately, all you're gonna have to do is take your tape measure, maybe ask a friend to help you here, but you're gonna hold the tape measure against the roof rail line on one end, and obviously it's picked up now, which is why you would want a buddy. You're gonna measure the distance between the two, divide that in half, and make your mark. So I've got a piece of blue painter's tape here so I don't draw on the car, and here I've got the mark for the center line of the roof. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start taping the template down. All right, so we're getting the template onto the car now. If you notice, there will be three kind of reference points. I like to cut these out so that I can see where I'm going when I start to line this up. But basically the three reference points are going to be at the edge of the roof, center of the car, and edge of the roof. There's no crazy explanation here. You're just gonna center this up with all of your reference points and tape it down. All right, so before we move on to the next step of actually applying the VHB tape to the Vortex generators, we're gonna give you a little bit of a graphic here and it's gonna show you exactly what needs to be done in order to get the best adhesion for the VHB tape on the Vortex generators. All right, our service is prepped. We're gonna install the Vortex generators. Basically just gonna put them inside of the cutouts and that'll be it. So here we go. 